are here with Liz Braun, a graduate research student with Boston University for this year's last censusing of our Bamberger Ranch bat population. And the emergence has just started. And I'm going to ask Liz to go ahead and just describe a little bit about what your research project is and some of the equipment that we're looking at here. Sure. Um, as Colleen mentioned, um, this is the last census of the year, and we census the Chiroptorium uh, once a month throughout the summer months when the Brazilian free-tailed bats, um, Tiderda brasiliensis, uh, occupy the caves in Texas, including this man-made cave. Um, we've been doing this since the cave became occupied in around 2003 or 2004, um, and we've seen a steady increase throughout the years um, as the population continues to grow and um, other bats will find out about the cave. Um, right now we're censusing in August. Um, the mid part of August when the juveniles are volant, seems they're flying. And so we've seen a marked increase in uh, population size since last month in July when we, um, when we census the cave. We don't have the numbers at this point, but um, we conduct population censuses with thermal imaging technology. Uh, this is pretty standard equipment in the in the military and is used in um, various other um, for various other uses but this is the first time that it's been used to census huge bat populations such as this one um, why would why would we be doing that why are we interested in how many bats we have what would be the reason for coming out with all this kind of equipment and counting bats? There are many uh, different reasons for monitoring bat populations. Um, we've seen declines all around the world of bat populations, and the Brazilian free-tailed bat historically had estimates in the um, you know, 150 million bats um, in Texas. And um, we're, we're seeing declines in all, all different sorts of species of bats, and so it's important to um, kind of document their increases and decreases and um, they're very important to the ecosystem is uh, one of the reasons that that's actually the work that I'm doing on bats is uh, ecosystem services. These particular bats eat insects um, and have been found to eat corn earworm moths and many other agricultural pests and as you can see um, with their huge numbers they can be a real asset to farmers and, and ranchers. What have you been studying in particular? Um, I'm studying bats and pecan orchards, um, and Texas is a huge pecan producing state. Um, I work in San Saba County, and looking at the Brazilian free bat as well as um, five or six other species that are present in the pecan orchards, I'm interested to see if they're eating and having an impact on the pecan nut case bear mall. And of course they are. Orchards. They, we have found that um, five species of bats eat the, the comet case bear moth, and we don't have any information if they're having an, an impact at this point, but it seems that may be the case. Thank you, Liz.